Elon Musk, the billionaire visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX, has filed a lawsuit against OpenAI and its leader, Sam Altman. Musk alleges that the company behind the groundbreaking ChatGPT has betrayed its founding principles, prioritizing profits over the promise of creating artificial intelligence that benefits all of humanity. A world where artificial intelligence is developed not for profit, but for the benefit of all humanity. A world where AI is open source and accessible to everyone. This was the original vision for OpenAI, a startup co-founded by billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk back in 2015. But fast forward to today, and it seems that vision has been abandoned. OpenAI, now famous as the creator of the viral chatbot ChatGPT, has taken billions in funding from Microsoft and shifted its focus to making money. And Elon Musk is not happy about it. In fact, he's so unhappy that he's now suing OpenAI and its CEO Sam Altman for breach of contract. In the lawsuit, filed in California, Musk alleges that when Altman and co-founder Greg Brockman first approached him about starting OpenAI, they agreed it would be a non-profit focused on developing artificial general intelligence, or AGI, in a way that would benefit humanity. AGI refers to AI that can handle any task a human can. Additionally, OpenAI was supposed to work in opposition to Google, which Musk believed was developing AGI for its own financial gain in a way that could pose great risks. But in Musk's view, OpenAI has broken these original agreements. The final straw seems to have been the release of GPT-4 in 2023, OpenAI's most advanced language model yet. Rather than making GPT-4 open source and available to the public, OpenAI made it essentially a Microsoft product, the lawsuit states. Musk is seeking a court ruling that would force OpenAI to make its research and technology public and prevent the company from using its AI for the financial benefit of Microsoft or any individuals. He also wants the court to rule that GPT-4 and an even more advanced unreleased technology called Q should be considered AGI and therefore outside the scope of Microsoft's license with OpenAI. For their part, OpenAI's executives are rejecting many of the claims made in Musk's suit, according to a memo obtained by Axios. CEO Sam Altman acknowledged the situation, saying it was never going to be a cakewalk. The attacks will keep coming. However, OpenAI, Microsoft, and Musk have not responded to requests for further comment. This lawsuit marks the culmination of Musk's long simmering issues with the company he helped create. According to a source familiar with the matter, in late 2017, Musk tried to seize control of OpenAI from Altman and the other founders. His plan was to turn it into a commercial entity in partnership with Tesla, using the automaker's supercomputers. But Altman and the others resisted this move. In February 2018, Musk announced his resignation from OpenAI during a staff meeting where he reportedly called for the company to increase its development speed in a way one researcher described as reckless. Musk said he wanted to focus on Tesla's own AI projects. Since then, Musk has repeatedly called for AI to be regulated. He was one of many experts who signed an open letter in early 2023, calling for a six-month pause in the development of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4, citing great risks to society and humanity. Legal experts are questioning whether Musk's breach of contract claims will hold up in court, noting that the email exchanges cited in the lawsuit look more like one-sided discussions and proposals rather than a firm contract. Regardless of the lawsuit's outcome, most believe it will have little impact on AI development at OpenAI or elsewhere. As one analyst put it, this seems to be more about Musk seeking to get a slice of equity in a company he effectively founded, but in which he holds no stake. Meanwhile, OpenAI continues to face antitrust scrutiny over its close ties with Microsoft and plans to appoint new board members soon. For its part, Microsoft said late last year that it would have a non-voting observer seat on OpenAI's board. Even as he takes legal action against OpenAI, Musk is pursuing his own AI projects. His startup XAI launched last July aims to develop a maximum truth-seeking AI. It started rolling out a chat GPT rival called Grok for some premium subscribers of Musk's X social media platform, formerly Twitter, in December. XAI operates as a separate company from Musk's other ventures, but plans to work closely with X and Tesla, 
However, Musk stirred up controversy with Tesla shareholders in January by saying he would be uncomfortable growing Tesla into an AI and robotics leader unless he had at least a 25% voting stake in the automaker. Currently, he owns about 13% of Tesla. The battle between Musk and OpenAI underscores the high stakes in the race to develop ever more advanced artificial intelligence. With the viral success of ChatGPT, followed by a wave of generative AI products from tech giants like Google and Meta, it's clear that AI will play an increasingly central role in our lives and economy. But as Musk himself has warned, calling AI a double-edged sword, the development of this powerful technology also carries immense risks that need to be carefully managed. Will AI primarily serve the interests of a few large corporations and wealthy individuals, or will it be developed in an open, transparent way for the benefit of all? These are the crucial questions at the heart of Musk's conflict with OpenAI. While a court battle over breach of contract may not resolve them, this lawsuit is a reminder of the profound challenges and choices we face as artificial intelligence reshapes our world. The path we take, whether prioritizing profit or public good, secrecy or openness, will have consequences for generations to come. Elon Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI is more than just a business dispute. It's a battle over the future of artificial intelligence. Who will control it? Who will benefit from it? Let me know your thoughts in comments section. And if you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to AI Bulletin Board to stay up to date on all the latest news and analysis and key developments in the world of AI.